New information on the murder of KRBC reporter Jennifer Servo. Today marks 19 years since she was killed in her Abilene apartment. That case still remains unsolved. But the family and private investigators are hoping her murder doesn't make it to the 20th anniversary without receiving justice and closure. Before we get to that new information, our Marley Capper is live at Servo's old apartment building. That's right, Lauren. I'm actually standing at what used to be the apartments. The name has now changed, but nearly two decades later, this family still does not have closure. I spoke with Jennifer's father, Norm Olson, who says time really has not healed his wounds. Likewise for Taylor County Judge Downing Bowles, who at the time was KRBC's main anchor. I spoke with both gentlemen and they recalled their stories like it was just yesterday. I'm Jennifer Servo. I'm Jennifer Servo reporting. It's been 19 years. And it was literally like crashing through panes of glass. And Jennifer Servo's murder to remains unsolved. To remove the six I'm optimistic that there's a two possibility of uh, catching of viewers some of measure of justice. Jennifer's father, Norm Olson. It's, it's one of those things that time doesn't heal. Still remembers that Wednesday night almost two decades ago. Jennifer's mother called me and just out of the blue, Jennifer's dead and yeah, here today. just well, knocked the daylights out of me. I, it was a very cold on Abilene for Art Walk and way to get the but lately, many news. September 16th, 2002, also weighs heavy on former KRBC anchor. One of our reporters was found dead in her apartment today. Taylor County Judge Downing Bowles. I, you know, I don't think about it very much anymore. So. Judge Bowles says he was having a conversation so, with another reporter who said Jennifer did not show up for work and that their news director went to her apartment to check up on her. That's when an officer's voice echoed through the police scanner saying they needed a justice of peace to go to the same apartment complex. That girl that I was talking to just dropped to the floor and just screamed at the top of her voice and um, she just covered her head up. and. Um, there's nothing you could do. That evening, Bowles announced Jennifer's murder during his newscast, followed by a candlelight picture of Jennifer for the remainder of the show. I don't know who did it, okay? But I know that whoever did it will, will not escape justice in the end. This truly is a somber day for both men and Jennifer's family. I'm going to bring on Victor Sotelo. You were here 20 years ago today reporting on this murder. What new information do you have? Yeah, that's right, Marley. We were actually standing just a few yards behind us doing live shots after we heard about the murder on the scanner. Now, I did sat, sit down with Sergeant Willie Ford of the Abilene Police Department, and he said this case, the murder of Jennifer Servo, is a cold case, but they've never stopped working on it. As a matter of fact, they are working on the murder of Jennifer Servo as we speak. Some cases have more evidence than others, and so there is evidence in this case uh, that thanks again to technology, we're able to, to uh, work with some of our state partners and federal partners. I did ask if this case is going to make 20 years being unsolved, Sergeant Ford said he didn't want to disappoint family, but he did say solving this case before it gets to 20 years is in the realm of possibility. Those are his words. And by the way, Marley, besides the Jennifer Servo cold case, there are two other cold cases that they're going to put through that same scrutiny. I did ask which two other cases he did decline to say. Marley. Thanks, Vic. I did speak to one of the family's private investigators who's been on the case for about four years. She's confident that they'll be able to solve this case. She does have a podcast online with her recent findings. You can go to our website, bigcountryhomepage.com to find them. In Abilene, Marley Capper, KRBC, Abilene's local news. Thank you, Marley and Victor. There will be a balloon release this Saturday from 12 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Scarborough Park in Abilene. For details about the podcast or balloon release, go to bigcountryhomepage.com.